Well, week two of our CFL coverage did not disappoint, starting with our game of the week down in the snake pit. Industrial trailing 14 nothing late in the first half when Ashton Garza putting his boys on his back. Long touchdown run cuts the Shiner lead in half to get the ball to start the second half. Offense firing on all cylinders. That great catch there going to set up this powerful touchdown run, and we are Tied. Now, later in this game, a little bit of controversy. The kickoff is touched. They rule it a touchback. I guess that's a high school rule, but boy, what a decision that was because Carson Schutte, who played his butt off, keeps the option on this touchdown run. And if that wasn't crazy enough, check this out. Shiner up by one touchdown, but there goes Industrial. But it's Carson Schutte hawking him down. Ball's free. Shiner has it. Are you kidding me? Nothing doing, though. Offensively for Shiner, Industrial would get the ball back and tie the game. And guess what? They would get it right back on this crazy interception. And it's going to set up a touchdown with only eight seconds remaining. Game of the week did not disappoint. Shiner now 0-2, but they know the best is yet to come. I feel like we had many, many improvements on offense. We still need to tackle a little bit better. But on the offensive side, offensive side we had a lot of improvements. And I'm happy with that. You know, Industrial is a good, good team, and uh, you know we had our chances. Uh, we, I thought we really did a good job offensively of making plays. Several kids did a good job there, starting with the offensive line. And uh, you know Carson played really well at quarterback, extended some plays for us. Uh, we caught the ball well. Really good things there. I thought we played really good defense early in the game, and then we got tired, and uh, you know we didn't tackle as well when we needed to, and you know that ended up being the difference in the game. Shiner took a big step forward, looking for a win next week.